Hi everybody, this is Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope you are all well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to do the work week top and bottom. I'm tired. It was a long, rough weekend. Oh, but that's the bread and butter, right? See, my work week's a little bit different because my weekend falls on Tuesday and Thursday and is interrupted by Wednesday. But for the average person, usually y'all work Monday through Friday, if you're working at all. Things are looking up. Things are going to get better. And I call this the work week top and bottom as a shining ray of hope. A little bit of normalcy in this crazy chaotic world but enough about that we do this by the elements and since it's Taurus season and Taurus is an earth sign we will go earth air water fire really easy if it resonates with you cool it's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all it's your journey not mine I just read the cards and if it doesn't resonate it's pretty general. It might not, and that's okay. You may have to figure out where your moon rising or Venus signs fall. Let's see if those resonate a little bit better. So that being said, all four of the readings presented today might resonate with you even just a little bit. So, All right, we got flippers, so I think Earth signs are ready. Two quick shuffles. Oh my gosh. I have like crap all over right now. I am so unprepared for this. I'm sorry. Okay, where were we? <coughs> Pardon me. All right. High Priestess Reverse, Five of Cups in the Upright. Something brought about a great sadness. Somebody kicked your cups over, but there's blessings if you look for them. Could have been due to someone being a little egotistical. Could have... I don't know. Secrets could have come to light. High Priestess Reversed has multiple meanings. So, take it however resonates. Three of Wands and the King of Cups. Someone that you deeply care about. Have a great deal of emotion for. Just kind of left you standing there waiting. Or vice versa. Maybe someone who deeply cares about you, you just left standing there waiting. Okay. Ten of Swords in the reverse, Queen of Swords in the reverse. You feel like there's no light at the end of that tunnel. You feel like the sun's not going to shine again. You have a pretty crappy attitude about it. Okay. Well, Earth Sign's the only one with the power to end the painful cycles, you. What's coming in for this week? The Hanged Man and the Eight of Pentacles. Accepting the fate of a situation. Putting a great deal of work into something. Maybe working on you. Maybe you're going back to work. Take it however resonates.
don't think we need to clarify anything. I think that was pretty self-explanatory, pretty general. Let's get your advice. Digging a little deeper, the Ace of Wands and the Empress. Amazing. I think this week, this week it might be time to take charge. Passionate newness is coming. Possibly a new start with a fire sign. You could just be ready to get back up and go this week. Could be an opportunity with a great deal of potential for growth. Could be a family situation. Some of you could have that one coming in that you're going to start a family with this weekend. We week this week. It's Monday. The brain's not functioning yet. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Looking good so far. Okay. Top. Bottom. <laughs> the Nine of Swords reversed and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Your last little bit of advice. Don't overthink it. If there's something even just a little bit iffy about it, something that's not quite jiving, don't move forward with it. Make sense? Okay. All right, Earth signs. <coughs> it is way too early for people to be blowing my phone up. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Time check. What do we got going on for you this week? I'm calling two shuffles because I haven't touched these since I did the weekend top and bottom. I literally just laid the cards down and they sat there all weekend because it was like, go like hell all weekend long. It was pretty amazing. Top of the deck. Bottom of the deck for the earth signs. Eight of wands and the queen of pentacles. Fast movement, communication. Air signs, you might find yourself a little large and in charge this week. Coming into your own, perhaps. Very nice. Things may be coming back into line. And very quickly. Very abruptly. I like it. I like it. In the past, we have a Four of Cups and a King of Wands. There was something you just couldn't see. Someone or something was trying to hand you something, hand you a blessing, and you ignored it. You were concentrating too much on the cups of not-so-nice stuff. The couldas, the wouldas, the shouldas, the why didn't I's. I'm going to clarify that King of Wands in a minute. Here and now, Seven of Wands... Death Guard. Okay. I see you getting control back. I see things changing.
could be dealing with a Scorpio. I have a little bit of earth, a little bit of water, a whole lot of fire. I think with this taking charge and taking control back, change was allowed to come in. You could be changing whatever line of work you were doing. With this Queen of Pentacles sitting here, this could have something to do with work. It is the work week top and bottom after all. It's not necessarily going to be a love reading. Could be, but doesn't have to be. All right. What's coming in for this week? Yes. The Knight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Definitely some fast moving energy. Seven of Pentacles. Things will be fruiting. Things that you have waited for will come to fruition. Something you've been waiting patiently for will happen. Okay. Okay. Can I get a clarifier on this King of Wands real quick, please? That's the only card tripping me up right now. Hi. Seven of Cups in the Sun. Options, choices, happiness. King of Wands is all about full steam ahead. It's full steam ahead. Do or die trying. It's a fire sign thing. I mean, we, we often just go full bore and not think about what we're doing. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. You could have fire in your chart. But I think some of you might have had a little bit of trouble picking an option. So you had to decide which one of the options made you the happiest. This could have been someone popping in with a fourth option unexpectedly. That was the option you didn't see because you were concentrating on the other three. Might have been that option you were waiting for and you just couldn't see it. All right, let's get some advice for you guys. Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Nice. Emotional fulfillment is coming, but it's going to come in very slowly. You have to maintain patience. Something is going to fill your cups again. You just have to be patient. In the meantime, concentrate on filling your own cups. 
doing what makes you happy. Exercising self-love. Three of Swords and the Page of Swords. Ooh, I don't like that. And hearing heartbreak is inevitable. It's all about how you perceive it. It's all about how you see it. It's all about how you take the communication. Let me throw one more on that because that was slightly confusing. Haha, <laughs> three of pentacles and the pen. <laughs> knight of cups. That's three knights. It's about coming together. I'm hearing take your time. Things will come together as they're supposed to. Be careful what you commit to. I don't know why. But somebody needs to hear be careful what you commit to. Very scattered this morning, guys. Very scattered. Okay. Not sure who this ad's going to resonate with. If it's not making any sense, just let me know. Once I get the cycle finished by Thursday, I'm going to do the Marseille special. It's going to be the bonus round, but I'm going to read the Marseille deck. And if any of you have ever seen a Tarot de Marseille, they're almost impossible to read. I love them. They're great. All right. Water. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let's get it going. I mean, it's not that the Marseille deck is impossible to read. If you know how to read tarot cards, it's easy. It, just, it doesn't have the imageries to help you. It's just sticks and swords and cups and pentacles. There's really no imagery to it. Okay, top of the deck. Ten of pentacles, bottom of the deck. Eight of wands, loving it. Kinda. Financial fulfillment this week. Right on. It's coming. Better times are coming. I don't know if this Eight of Wands is a cutoff in communication or a stop in movement. We'll get some clarity when I get the rest of the cards on the table. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords reversed in the Empress. Cut off in communication. This could be indicative of a cut off in communication with a family member. Possibly someone you had children with. Could be. Okay. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands reversed, Nine of Wands reversed. No movement, no passion. Nothing's moving. Okay. Like it, don't like it. to get some clarity on this one for my water signs. Lovers reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed for what's coming in this week. The connection is there. 
It's just not being acknowledged. Someone's going to be letting something go. Possibly that communication that's been held back is going to be coming out this week. Can I get a clarifier on the Eight of Wands reverse, please? Now I'm curious. Three of Wands reverse. Things weren't moving. Someone decided to stop waiting and walk away from the dock. Okay. Justice reversed. Possibly something to do with a legal matter. An injustice, maybe. Something isn't fair to one party or the other. If someone is viewing something as not being fair, that's possibly what led to the cutoff in communication. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? Swords are versed. Communication blocked. Things aren't happening because someone can't get through. Ace of Cups reversed, clarifying a Knight of Wands reversed. There's no new start. There's no. Heck. There's not even non committal energy. There's nothing. There's no new start. There's nothing happening here. Something's not acknowledging a connection. Things aren't balanced. Nobody's communicating. Can I get a card to tie together the Lovers Reverse and the Four of Pentacles Reverse, please? Just one. Just one to tie them both together. Thank you. Judgment. Wow. Somebody's making a judgment call this week. Could be you, could be them, could be the universe. I don't know. But a connection that has not been acknowledged. Everything is coming out in the wash this week. Somebody is going to be spewing out emotions. What's us to do? Top, bottom. <laughs> Four of swords in the reverse, five of swords in the upright. Restless energy. Pieces will be picked up this week. Battle's over. Whatever happened this week, it's coming to an end. All that restless, keep you up at night energy, done. Pieces will be picked up. Conversations will be happening. Changes will be coming about in communication and how you deal with people. Some of you, temperance, two of wands reversed. Things are going to start flowing again. Balance will be restored. This may call for you to have patience with one another. Unfortunately, this may bring about a situation for some of you where it's going to be impossible for you to ascertain which decision you're going to make. This might throw some of you for a loop. It's like, okay, now what? <laughs> Seven of Pentacles reversed, King of Wands reversed. Don't lose patience and don't be argumentative. You have to maintain patience with one another and don't throw yourself back into that argumentative state where nobody's talking again. Because this is progress. The universe is calling to bring about po progress here. And fulfillment. This could represent a family coming back together. Happiness in the home.
the Ten of Pentacles represents the big brick house with the white picket fence and the pool and the 2.5 kids and the dog and all that happy jazz. It, it's the happy jazz card. It, it's actually pretty cool. You just gotta be patient with one another, guys. I know it's hard. Trust me, I get it. In these situations, some of us have I'm not even going to say it, because you know what's about to come out of my mouth. Families are having a little rough right now, I'll put it to you that way. Okay. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what's going on for my fire signs this week? Come on, one more. There we go. Fire signs. Queen of Swords. And the Page of Wands. Okay. Honesty and Truth. Logical decision making, fast forward movements, possibly little messages of something, something coming in this week. And somebody may be putting that stuff to a stop. I don't know. You could be dealing with an air or another fire sign. Take it however it resonates. I'm hearing truth. Truth. Someone will be speaking truth. Top and bottom. What happened? Ooh, the tower and the nine of wands. Tower in the upright, nine of wands in the reverse. Sudden and abrupt change in a situation. Walls came tumbling down. Literally. The tower card is not bad. It's not. Things sudden and abrupt change happened for someone and you had to admit to being vulnerable. Walls had to come tumbling down things had to be exposed for how they are. Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Oh, nice. Brought about balance. Brought about a fantastic new start. New start in love. That's beautiful, fire signs. Sometimes things have to shake up for you to realize how beautiful something was, or is, or could be. Sometimes, sometimes you have to knock the building down to see the beautiful view without the building there. Views are skewed. Some of you may have literally been letting your trees block the view of your forest, if that makes any sense to anybody. Top and a bottom. Okay. <clears throat> Three of Wands reversed in the Empress. I'm not into that Three of Wands reversed. Someone's no longer waiting. Someone's losing patience. Someone's not seeing the ship. Somebody's walking away from the dark, but there's potential for growth here. This could be someone you want to have a family with. Truth, forward movement. Why is the three of wands reversed here?
Page of Swords communication. The wait is over. Some of you may find out this week that the wait is over. You could find out through a third party. Something's coming. You could get a notification in the mail about something. That's pretty general, isn't it? Sorry, all the antibacterial soap is making my hands itch like crazy. <coughs> okay. I'm going to clarify this page of wands up here because he's tripping me up a little bit too. Why is the page of wands here? Hi. Two of cups. Awesome. Okay. New connections coming together. That's very awesome. I like it. Fire signs. This week, you may find out the truth about how somebody really feels about you, or you may be speaking truth about that, vice versa. Little messages of a little something, something, possibly. If you need to know what a little something, something is, email me privately and I'll tell you because I don't talk about little something, somethings in the readings anymore. I think you're picking up what I'm putting down, though. All right. I like it. The lovers and the high priest. I like it. Fire signs. This could potentially be the beginning of something beautiful this week. And it was brought out by sudden and abrupt change and someone finally allowing walls to come down. Fire signs. You don't have to be so combative. Everything doesn't have to be a fight or an argument. And you don't have to surround yourself with those little walls. You don't have to lock yourself in your tower. It's not that bad. See what happens when you let yourself out of the tower? Good things happen when you let the tower come down around you. When you just let yourself out of the tower. That's all you gotta do. Did the, the, the tower really have to come crashing down? Yes, yes it did. Okay, here's the flip side of things. The moon and the death card. Beware of things that are not quite as they seem. People, things, situations, perceptions may be a little bit skewed. And they may be game changers. They may be the end-all be-alls. If something isn't quite right, proceed with caution. Or don't proceed at all. Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. For some of you, not all. You have to love yourself first. You have to fill your own cups first. You cannot rely on other people to fill your cups for you. And you can't fill other people's cups. There may be a situation where if this is no longer conducive to a relationship, it may be time to move on. You have to love yourself first. But just remember, this is coming about this week. This is coming in for you. Sudden and abrupt change. Walls coming down. 
For some of you, it hasn't come yet. But it's going to be coming in quick. When you are moving on from something, you are moving toward something. If you are in a situation that is not emotionally fulfilling, it's time to turn your back on the cups and move forward. Your next step is the nine cups. This is loving yourself. And sometimes you have to love the other person enough to move on from them. If that makes sense to anybody. Alright, hope it resonates. Let me know. Oh, whipped. And it's time for me to get ready to go to my bread and butter job. So, take care. Be blessed. Have a good week. Know that you're loved. Love you to bits, guys. Your beginning of May readings will all... Everybody's going to be out by Thursday night, by the end of the day, on the 31st. So, 30th. Oh, my God. It's April. There's only 30 days in April. This is how not awake I am right now. Catch you next time. Bye.